Hi, how are you? We're here. Egghead. New artwork mm -hmm. for the intro mm -hmm. and outro. Mm -hmm. Hella, like, hints towards what's gonna happen during Egghead. Was my boy Lucci's Leopard Through Awakened? Let's go through those. L Lucci, Leopard Fruit, Awaken vs. Luffy. What else was in there? We saw Shanks fighting. Kid. Kid. We saw Blackbeard vs. Law. We saw Zoro versus that new the Seraphim. The Seraph that the has Mihawk Trafalgar. One. Or, yeah, Trafalgar. I was going to say Trafalgar. Mihawk's version. What else? That's it. We saw everybody getting beat up. Yep. Sabo. Law, Kid, and Kobe. Yeah, the hero, Kobe. Put some respect on it. So he ain't done nothing. <laughs> oh, and we saw Akaji vs. Garp. Oh, yeah, yep. And the artwork on all those was dope. But let me tell you, it take the cake. That black beard took the cake for me. He looked sinister in that artwork. Feel me? But what's up with the first episode? How you, how you feel about it? Yeah, they, they, had a, they had a terror shark straight out blocks fruit coming after them. I swear. You don't Dude, know what that is? I want to know but where Usopp was. was running if he saw it was large enough to eat the ocean. How did they even see his eyes if its mouth was open and they were looking down straight into its mouth? Now, I Cowardice sees everything, I guess. We got Jewelry Bonnie. Uh, Dude, they need to give my boy Usopp a buff. They got to do him right at some point. He's been weak since they got him. <laughs> No, I want you to know, with Jewelry Bonnie coming in here, we now have seen every worst generation since Shibodi, except for Mad Monk Oroji. That's true. They better be saving the black for last, not the best for last, the black for last, and, and not just forget about them. Feel me? Dude, he broken. You, you gotta remember, he uh took down the first sweet general on Cake Island. Yeah. By himself. I don't know if Eustace and them beat one or they just robbed one. I think they might have robbed one and he beat one, huh? He beat, a, he beat one in a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and I think they robbed one. I don't know if they beat one or not. But, and he looked like a Skypean. You know? Dude, they, they better not forget that man. They can go forget him. His devil fruit weird though, man. It's like good and bad. He gotta get hurt to get better. Sucker. Hey, give it to the right person and they're gonna be OP with that. Luffy would be OP with it because he's adorable. You know? Or like Kaido would have been OP. <laughs> but give it to my boy Zoro and he He would have been OP. My boy Zoro would go OP. down. Cause they don't go down. Y'all gotta remember my boy Zoro. My, oh, can we talk about how my boy Zoro literally cutting everything now, too? Dude. He cut he the water. He don't even need all three swords. It was like a flat piece of paper, that water. Ever since he got took down by Mihawk, he ain't lost a fight. He's cutting everything like he said. I'm proud of him. He even... I want you to know versus Kaido. This is how dope Zoro is. He was using Kenimon's special attack that could cut flame. Yeah. I don't know if you remember. This is when... Uh, Big Mom was disregarding everybody except for Luffy, and then she saw uh, Zoro cut her flame in, uh, in half, and then she was like, "That's when she knew he was a threat." Any man that could tank a double Yokon attack, the strongest attack in the world, and he was the first one out of them to hurt Kaido. Mm -hmm. Remember before Luffy, anybody with that Asher attack? I don't know, dude. It's going crazy i'm so excited to see what's gonna happen next let us know what y'all thought about the new intro the new outro and the first episode mm. of the egghead arc make sure you like and subscribe to us everywhere and in the comments in our description go to project one for all support our nonprofit, and that's it we are out